Hey yogis and yoginis, Ashley Joseph Lee here. Today I'm going to offer you one hip stretch. It's a big one, it's intense, but hopefully it will help dissolve any tension that you're feeling in your hips. I know that we've done a lot of hip work together before, but it seems to be that students continuously come to me over and over again, letting me know that their hips are tight and they need hip stretches and hip openers and hip work. And so here we go, we're gonna do a little bit more hip work. So today you need to be close to a wall. You don't necessarily have to have a mat. I folded mine in half. What you're going to do is scoot up against the wall so that the side of your hip is all the way up against the wall. Then pivot so that your legs come up the wall here. And you might need to bring your hands overhead and press yourself forward so that your butt comes all the way up against the wall or the baseboard if you have one. And then rest your feet up the wall. Your hands can be by your side on your belly. Relax your shoulders down. We'll move into a figure four pose from here. So bend your right knee and place your foot across your right thigh. Now depending on your hip flexibility the openness in your hip today or right now, your foot might be up on your shin instead of down on your thigh. So just be aware of your foot placement and avoid placing your foot directly on your knee joint. Flex your toes and then you can stay here. If you feel a lot in your hip, in your right hip right here, then stay here. Otherwise, start to slide your left heel down the wall as you bend your left leg. And this will bring the weight of your right leg back in towards your chest and gradually deepen the intensity of the stretch that you feel in your right hip here. This is about as far down as I'm going to go, but a lot of my clients get to about here and that's about as much as they can take. So have an open mind, be curious, and really listen to what your body is telling you here. Now bring your awareness to your breath. And wherever you end up, make sure that you're able to continue breathing in and out. Deep inhales, deep exhales. If you think you can take a little more, continue to slide your heel down the wall. You can also take your right hand and press your thigh forward. Again, just avoid pressing directly onto the knee. The more you press your knee or your leg forward towards the wall, the more you'll feel that stretch in your outer hip. And the last thing here is to make sure that your low back stays on the ground. So as you lower your heel down, your low back is going to want to lift up depending on the tension, the tightness in your hip. So create traction, continue to press your low back down. And if you feel like you can bring your foot further down the wall, but that causes your hips to lift up, then keep your leg a little further up the wall so that you maintain that connection between your low back and the ground. Go ahead and take one more deep breath in here on this side. And then exhale, release your right leg up the wall. Maybe bend it and slide the right foot down and up just to get some movement into your hip. Maybe take it off to the side and then to the other side, move your left foot out of the way. Just moving it laterally, side to side, up and down. And then move on to the other side. Bend your left knee, place your left foot across your thigh, maybe your shin, avoid your knee. Flex your toes. We flex our toes in this stretch to stabilize our knee joint in the bent leg. That helps protect our knee. Press down through your low back. And then stay here or start to slide your right heel down the wall. You can keep your heel on the wall or maybe press the sole of your foot into the wall. When you press your sole of your foot into the wall, if you're able to, it makes it a little bit easier to press your low back down. You have something to press into, although you can use your heel as well, but sometimes with the sole of your foot, you've got some more traction. And then if you want, press your left knee or thigh forward towards the front of the room, the stretch will either deepen in intensity or you'll just notice that the stretch, the area that is being stretched, stretched, changes slightly. And remember to take your long, deep inhales. 
Your breath is really your guide here. If you start to lose your breath or if you stop breathing or if you're panting or unable to take deep breaths because the intensity is so high in the hip stretch that you're feeling, then come out of it slightly until you're at a point where you can find deep, long breaths in and out. And that's where you know that you can stay and gradually as you're able to get used to your breath, you can slowly increase the intensity using your breath as your guide. So take one more deep breath in on this side. And then exhale, release your left foot up to the wall. And then slide the knee down, bring some movement into your hip joint up and down, out to the side, out to the left, slide the heel up on a diagonal, and then move the right leg out of the way and move it to the other side as well. Just moving that hip, the leg in some different directions. And then keep both legs up the wall here, ending in a nice little restorative pose. Place your hands on your belly. Relax your shoulders down away from your ears. Take three deep breaths. As you inhale, feel your belly expand. As you exhale, release all the air from your lungs. Inhale. Your hips are heavy, your legs are heavy. Exhale. One more. Close your eyes for this one if they're not closed already. Inhale. And exhale. And then bend your knees into your chest. Roll over onto one side. Bring yourself all the way up to seated. Palms at heart center. Feel free to practice this stretch as much as you need anytime your hips feel particularly tight. And really move into it with a curious mind, an open mind, and this sense of exploration. I hope to see you on or off the mat again soon. My name is Ashley Josephine. Namaste.